guys, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. Today we are on part three of the bathroom transformation. We are on flooring day. We are gonna knock this flooring out. I think I have a little bit of last week to show you left. I think some of the wall I was finishing up painting. So uh, I will insert that now. to flooring. The first thing we need to do is cut all of the underlayment situation. It's kind of like a, what do they call it? It's a vapor liner. Vapor liner. <laughs> I don't know, you're supposed to put it under the floor. I'm just following instructions. I don't know what I'm doing. So my guess is it says it's pre-taped. So I think that's just how you attach the pieces together. I suspect. Any hoozle, I'm gonna go ahead and just start laying this out and cutting it because I wanna to get to the flooring part. That is what's priority to me. So let's see how quickly we can knock out this underlayment. Okay, upon further um, research, AKA calling my mom, she told me that the tape side is what goes down and sticks to the floor. So, which makes sense because that's how this unrolls. So I'm just trying to like figure out what that looks like. So bear with me. <laughs> be that precise because then I can't like angle this down into the spot so I have to cut way shorter oh okay. okay we're gonna work it out it's gonna be fun okay we're changing trajectories this is driving me insane I already hate this project. I need more space, dude. Like, why won't it go in? <laughs> That's the question we all have here today. If this is any indication of how the rest of the project is gonna go, we are See if we can get this in the right spot. That's for the next test, isn't it? Holy hell. All right, guys. We're off to a rocky start, eh? But we're doing it. We're doing it. Next piece. Now this one we're gonna clip in, but we need to make the measurement to make it flush up against the wall. So we're gonna take it back out to make the cut proper. Okay, let's see what we're working with, yeah. 
Yep, still slightly off. Alright, next cut. Okay, I'm back many hours later. Uh, we'll get this project done someday. Alright, I made the cut on this, so let's see if it fits. Actually lines up. Hey, not too shabby. Okay. Let's see if we can get it attached. That's the next step, right? Oh yeah. Slick. Slickety slick. Cool beans. We're doing it, people. We're doing it. <laughs> I need to trim off like barely anything. Day 197 of the bathroom project. <sighs> All right, let's talk about it because I pretty much didn't say anything yesterday because this flooring was making me angry. <laughs> so about row three, I sliced my finger open with one of these pieces of wood. It wasn't even with like a knife or a saw or anything that you would suspect that would slice your finger open. It was one of these. I was shoving them together and I slipped and it just like cut down into my finger. So I'm down a finger, so that's fine. Oh, it almost would have been easier just to do the tile, you know? It would have been easier, but that's okay. I do love how it's looking. It looks really nice. It's just being a pain in the butt. So the plan for the day is to finish this up. I just want the floor to be done. I just want it to be done. So, I am not going to be talking to you guys until this floor is done. I'm going silent mode, we're going to time lapse mode, and we're going to knock it out. <sighs> okay, let's do it.
update things have gone awry as they always do we're on the very last strip we're cutting around the door and I realize we have to take the door off because I can't clip the piece in with the door closed or open it just doesn't work so we took the door off uh, not a big deal um, <laughs> before that we put the toilet in as you saw however the bolts aren't long enough because I did the flooring under the toilet and the carpet was cut around the toilet. So we lifted the toilet up like this much and uh, the bolts are not long enough. So we have successfully wasted one of the O-ring things. Is that what they're called? Wax ring? We wasted the wax ring because we have to pull the toilet up to replace the bolts and scrape off the ring and do a new one because I don't think we can use it after you've like peeled it apart. So that sucks. Uh, luckily they're not that expensive. It's like 10 bucks maybe, but still annoying. And I really wanted the toilet installed tonight, but it's fine. That's fine. <sighs> you know, I think this is just how home renovations go. Like, I think it's just, it is what it is. Things just go bad at every turn. The floor is almost in, so that's really great. The floor will be in, we can do all the baseboards. You saw Matt do some of them so we could put the toilet in, but we'll be able to finish with the baseboards and that'll be great. So I will assess the bolt situation probably tomorrow and order some and or go pick some up. And I think we'll be on our way to being done. I want to order a new light, so maybe I'll do that tonight. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I think. Yeah, me too. Me too. Kratos is mad. He wants us to be done as well. Don't you, bub? Oh, goodbye. <laughs>
We need to make those little divots around. Okay, focus on, there we go. We need to make those little divots around the bolts so the bolts would slide out, which know. is fine. The toilet will plenty good to cover that, but like just one more problem. Watch, I'm gonna drop one of these bolts down the- Do not, plug it up, plug it up. Don't let anything, actually no, but legit plug it. <laughs> We're not doing this. Here we go. Caution first. Do they slide in? Are they toilet bowl bolts? Yeah, no, they're totally. Oh, okay, and they're plenty tall too. Those are like twice the height. Yep. If not more, probably more, like three they're, times high. Yeah. They're gonna stick up high. Maybe we'll have to sh metal grind them down with the Dremel or something. Yeah. Okay, next step. <laughs> Okay, so now the bolts are aggressively too long, but at least the toilet will be back in place. guys in close. Oh wow. Look at that fine craftsmanship. You're doing great. Woo! <laughs> Alright you guys, the finish line is near. I can feel it. It's within my grasp. <laughs> We have to clean this whole thing. So I'm gonna get like the mirror, the sink, the toilet all cleaned up, shined up. I'm gonna bring in our like bath mats, our little like storage container thing. I'm just gonna snazz it up. Oh, I gotta fill all the holes in the baseboards too. But I think that's it and I think we're done. The only thing that I'm not gonna have added in here yet is art. I have some ideas noodling around, but I don't wanna pull the trigger preemptively but also my dad has been chomping at the bit to see this bathroom. I, I have banned him from coming into this room because I want to surprise him. So uh, I told him he could see it tonight. So we gotta like get this wrapped up so he can come see it. But anyway, like I said, the only thing we won't get done is the art, but as soon as I figure that out, I will show you guys like in a later video. Anyway, let's get this cleaning done.
okay, I'm gonna go get my dad. It's super obvious that I'm filming his reaction. <laughs> just a, I just put you on the back of the toilet, but whatever, we're doing it. <laughs> This is really neat. You like it? I do like it. You That's vibe with cool. that? I okay, good. That. I really like that. It's like fun, but also like okay enough. Yeah, right? <laughs> that is, yeah, I do like it. Yeah, the yeah. walls come out nice. Yeah, look at it. Nice job. Taped and everything. Taped edge and then ran yeah. it and pulled the tape. Cool. And you got your clean hard core surface. Yes. No, this is totally all good. Yay! No, oh, that's neat. Did you just end up painting that fixture then? Reusing it? Cool. Yep. Yep, that's yours. Cool, cool, cool. It even looks taller in here now with right? white walls. It does. It looks taller. <laughs> oh, cool. Shablamma. Good job. Good job. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you like it. I was so stressed out. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. Let's talk final thoughts. So I'm super excited how this turned out. I think it looks really good. I mentioned this before, but I still need to do art. I will insert a picture of like what has me inspired, but I hesitated to do that because it involves like painting onto the wall and ceiling and that just might be a notch too much for my dad. I don't know. So I think I might get a couple canvases and do something similar, but just stay on the canvas. You know what I mean? But we'll see. I want to do like one piece of art for each of these sidewalls just to give it a little zhuzh. Okay, let's go step by step through the process. So demo. Demo went okay. I learned some new skills. I know how to pull off floorboards or trim baseboards. I don't know, whatever you call it. I figured out how to pull those off. I know how to get off carpet tack strips. Um, I already knew how to remove carpet, um, so just practice that again. Um, what else did we learn? I don't know. Oh, gnarly! <laughs> oh, it's the worst! <laughs> that is not, I'm not, I'm not a prince, but that's not okay. I feel like that was most of the demo. Oh, I guess I sanded this back wall, but that wasn't like learning a new skill. It was just testing to see if it would work. Anyway, on to actual doing things. Painting, we all know about painting. This wallpaper, peel and stick wallpaper. I don't know. I think it depends on the design you get, whether it's worth it or not. I'm still so miffed that for $50 I got so little, but like 100% there to support the artist and designer. She's awesome. I'm down to support her, but I would never buy this again. <laughs> it's so expensive. As far as peel and stick wallpaper goes, I'm assuming it works the same as all the others. This came off and pulled on really, really well. Did I say that right? It pulled off and stuck on really, really well. Like it's not going anywhere, but also it peels off super easy. So um, solid material, like whatever it's made of. I've never used other kinds before, so I can't say whether it's better or worse, but for first time, we got through it. <laughs> we got through it. Um, oh, the little section down here that I painted. Like when you're up close, like when you were watching me paint it, you could tell the grays weren't quite matched, but um, you can't tell it all. It's behind the toilet. Like you have no idea. You can't tell it all in person. My dad doesn't even know until he watches these videos. <laughs> oh, the light fixture. Okay. So originally I had ordered a different light fixture, but it was way, way smaller than I thought it was going to be. So ended up returning that 
and I just painted the old light fixture. It used to be white, and so I painted it black, and it works out perfect. I feel like I should have painted the vent black too, because it kind of sticks out. No, it, it doesn't kind of. It absolutely sticks out like a sore thumb, but that's okay <laughs> for another day. What else? Oh, the flooring. Oh my gosh, I have thoughts about the freaking flooring. Okay, so I know in the beginning of this, I told you guys that at some point the basement flooded like three inches deep of water, okay? So all of this flooring came out of the living room on the other side of the basement. Like when the flood happened, that will, this is what was in the living room. Um, and so my dad had to pull up all the flooring. He let it all like dry out, whatever. And then he ended up just putting carpet in there. Fast forward to 10 years later. It happened at least, yeah, I think 10 years ago was this flood situation. All of this floor, all of these floorboards have been sitting in his garage on the rack, just stacks and stacks and stacks of flooring and two new boxes of flooring of the same stuff. So, um, like three, four years ago, I used the old flooring to refloor like the bathroom in an RV that my dad was working on. And it was a pain in the butt to like hook all the pieces together. And I was like, I never want to do this again. Like flooring that's been flooded. It just doesn't, it didn't dry out right. Like the pieces just didn't fit together. And I was like, for this bathroom, I can use the two new boxes. Those should be fine, right? Absolutely not. Same exact problem. I don't know if it's just because they've been sitting outside in the garage for 10 years or like, I literally don't know, but the new boxes had the same exact issues. They did not clip in together. I, I cut so much footage of me and Matt just struggling to get these pieces together. You're supposed to just be able to like angle them and click them together. Like they're supposed to just click, angle, click, angle, click. That's how this flooring is supposed to work. That is not how this flooring worked. It was such a physical labor to get these pieces together and there are some spots that didn't fit together great. I'm not gonna point them out. It looks fine. I'm the only one who knows, but I would have rather spent hundreds of dollars on new flooring than ever touch this again, ever. Never, ever, ever. I'm gonna beg my dad to throw out the rest of that flooring because no one should ever have to do anything with it ever again. <sighs> anyway, all this to say that it's done and it looks great and I'm very pleased. It's so nice to not have carpet in here anymore. <laughs> oh, the other thing that we have left is to paint the door. That will be a side project at some point, not right now. I am taking a break from projects. That's the other thing I wanna let you guys know. I'm taking a break from projects for a hot second because I feel really overloaded right now. If you couldn't tell, my videos have been posting later and later and later and I'm just, I'm not on top of it right now. This bathroom project just about killed me. <laughs> okay, bit dramatic, but it was a lot and I need a break. So we're just gonna do, I don't know, some cleaning stuff, some organizing stuff, and just back off from the projects for a couple weeks. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this bathroom makeover series. It went it took way longer than I wanted it to. I thought I, I think I said at the beginning of this that I wanted it to take two weeks. It took four. Whoops. All right, that is all I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and, you know, hopefully enjoying this renovation. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.